हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू आज द हल्क शो एपिसोड नंबर थर्टी वन टुडे वी हैव गॉट अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम गौरव जोशी एंड गौरव आस्क टू क्वेश्चन एंड दीज आर द गुड वंस बाय द वे नंबर वन हाउ टू फाइंड अ जॉब एज अ फ्रेशर इन सेल्स फोर्स और सम वन री स्टार्टिंग आफ्टर अ फ्यू इयर्स गैप वे टू अप्लाई ओके सो गौरव देर आर लॉट ऑफ कंपनीज हुआ हायरिंग फ्रेशर्स फॉर द पोजिशन ऑफ सेल्स फोर्स डेवेलपर इंक्लूडिंग सिंटेक्सा इज वेल so if you are based out of india and uh, if if you want to start your career into salesforce you can definitely apply for syntexa we are hiring a lot of freshers into the for the salesforce positions that we've got uh, at syntexa apart from syntexa there are other companies as well a lot of them who are also hiring but uh, many of them would not consider somebody who have uh, like who who has got a uh, who, has, who has got some years of gap uh, in in their professional career so that might be an issue but uh, i don't think it will be an issue if you'll prove your knowledge with uh, relevant projects assignments and uh, certifications uh, if you have all of these three things uh, you can apply anywhere for uh, for a position of a sales force developer or any other sales force profile that you want to apply for and uh, right now there's a lot of demand as well so i think companies would consider your application and would probably schedule an interview and once you clear that interview you'll be getting that job easily so i don't think it will be much like relatively difficult as it was few years back so yeah you, that's exactly how you can find a job as a fresher in sales force second question from gaurav uh, is can someone work on projects for companies abroad outside india and how so is it a, uh, about working on to the projects uh, of clients who are not from india if that's what you're asking about then uh, majority of the companies who are executing from india are doing majority of the projects which are uh, of the clients who are based outside india or abroad or different lo- uh, locations or geographies there can be but uh, that that like majority of the companies are doing majority of the projects uh, for the clients who are based out of india only so if if that's something that you want to do i think uh, getting a job is is more than enough uh, wherever you'll be getting a job you'll be probably you'll end up doing a job for a client uh, who's based out of india uh, and if you're asking something else uh, like if if you want to be a freelancer or if you want to work independently and you want to work for a company outside india or a company which is based out like which is not not based in india then in that case uh, there are multiple things that you can do number one if you really want a job uh, in a company which is outside india uh then in that case you you really really need to have relevant experience into salesforce as a developer or whatever profile that you are applying for the more openings uh are of developers that's why i'm again and again saying of de- uh, of being a developer but yeah if you want to if you want to get a job outside india as a salesforce developer these are the things that you need to do number one you should have at least 3 to 5 years of experience as a salesforce developer and in those 3 to 5 years of uh, experience you should have uh, worked into multiple uh, yeah multiple industries or you you should have varied experience and varied exposure of different different things and uh, your experience uh, of all these years should be beneficial uh, to the company that you are applying for right and uh, the i mean a lot of people out there have already got a uh, got that kind of an experience uh, but they are not they are not able to figure out which company to apply to and how to apply to all of those companies so the uh, i mean the companies which are based out of us let's talk about usa right uh, the companies which are based out of usa directly uh, they do not directly hire someone from india for the position that they have open uh, if if they need someone urgently and they are not able to find one they would prefer someone Uh, uh on a contractual basis to be hired rather than on a permanent basis so if you want to do some contractual work you you can get that contractual work or freelancing work or something like that uh on on like portals like upwork or toptal or uh, some other recruitment agencies from which they recruit you can get jobs from there uh to to do on a contractual basis but if you want to get permanent if you want to get permanently hired into all of these companies then i think uh, what you need to do is showcase your skill sets in such a way that uh, your your like uh, even if they do not have your resume they know about you like you you're carrying your own personal brand or uh, work for any of your client who is uh, like say okay like let's say there is uh, a guy named as aman aman is right now working for a client called as xyz company and xyz company is in usa 
so now aman what what this aman needs to do is aman needs to outperform and outwork everybody uh, or like every, everyone who is part of that particular project of xyz corporation or xyz company uh, in order to be highlighted as a as a high performance individual so that the company or the stakeholders who can actually give a job to aman uh, in usa in xyz organization uh, should know about aman and uh, should be willing to give a job to aman to come to us and get settled over there and would be willing to do all of the uh, i mean yeah investments it, uh, into getting aman to usa in order to work for them so that's one way of doing it uh, and this doesn't happen does not happen every day or very often you need to build a good relation with uh, the client uh, for whom you're working and this relationship is the only thing which will take you to that position and it should not be transactional it should be like purely relational because people can identify what uh, your intentions if your intention is just this then i don't think it will work out but if you are really good at uh, making them successful and if you if you really care about that i have seen a lot of people uh, getting acquired by their clients only or getting uh, getting absorbed by their clients only because their work was so good and they they were considered as a trusted advisor for the client so this is another way you can uh, yeah move to us or some another country apart from india and you can get a job over there on a permanent basis so these are some ways you can work on projects for companies abroad we have got another question from kunal khatri and kunal says uh, hi sidhika by the way sidhika is the one who manages salesforce all along with me so kudos to sidhika i am starting out on my salesforce journey and would like to know whether i should it i should do it as a general salesforce developer by the way it's not a general salesforce developer is specific developer right uh, or should i opt for new specialization like velocity viva etc a uh, post statement i am a 4.5 years experience professional but giving my career a fresh start through salesforce okay kunal uh, i think uh, even if you want to start as a velocity developer or something like that the chances of you getting a position uh, for a velocity developer as a fresher are very slim are like are are is very difficult so i think you should prepare and plan out to become a salesforce developer rather than uh, any specialized uh, cloud professional um, that's something that 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 will open up your odds of getting your first job into the salesforce ecosystem and then later you can traverse your way towards other technologies or other clouds as well that would be a better option according to me personally but if you think that you know a company which works into on uh, any of these clouds and hire someone who is a fresher uh, and like who doesn't know much about this these cloud clouds or who who does not have relevant experience of these clouds uh, and are still hiring for uh, like for the freshers then then you can uh, try to become a velocity developer or uh, yeah i mean some some other cloud professional but how will you do that <laughs> there are not enough resources which will help you become that if you are a fresher and trying to learn all of these things on your own so if you can take care of all both of these things like learning part of it and then after learning if you can do that learning part or if you can just take care of that learning part if you can uh, uh, like figure out a company which is which will be able to give you a position as a fresher into all of these clouds uh, if if these are the if these are the two things that you can take care of uh, then go become a cloud professional but if you cannot take care of any one of these things then i would definitely not recommend you to become uh, or prepare even for any of the clouds uh, rather become a salesforce developer first enter into the ecosystem and then traverse your way towards it and that's it if you also have similar questions like this all what you need to do is send me a linkedin message with your question or you can send write us an email on salesforce@gmail.com as well and i'll be more than happy to answer whatever question you've got related to salesforce or your career or literally anything ask me questions on ask the hulk show and if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel make sure to hit the subscribe button over here with the notification bell icon so that you'll be first one you will be the first one to get notified whenever we post a new video and we do do that probably every week or sometimes twice a week or thrice a week as well so you wouldn't want to miss all of the great content that we are creating on the salesforce on the salesforce hulk channel so subscribe now see you in the next video till then bye bye take care